Troy Smutka from Great Day on the Water Guide Service here. Um, we're out on uh, Lake Mille Lacs in central Minnesota uh, with my son Parker behind the camera and my dad Nate here. Um, we're going to be, you can hear the wind whistling and probably see some of the waves in the background. We got a cold, windy morning. Uh, three days ago it was a low of 78 and a high of 95. Uh, today it was a low of 48 and a high of 68. So a little different weather came in here, but we're going to be targeting uh, with the breeze we're gonna, and some waves, we're going to be targeting walleyes up on uh, shallow to mid-depth rock reefs. We're going to be fishing about 10 to uh, maybe 15 feet is where we're thinking of targeting. Uh, we're going to be fishing slip bobbers uh, with leeches. Um, what we'll get into as the show goes on here, uh, the rods, reels, line, uh, what we've got the leech on under the slip bobber, the whole rig. And we'll be going through that and hopefully catch uh, some good walleyes. Oh, I see my dad's bobber. Oh, my dad had a bobber down, but it came back up. So we're off to a good start here, hopefully. Hopefully he didn't take the leech, but uh, yeah, hopefully catch a bunch of fish here and then show you what we're doing uh, as we're catching them. Stay with us. Son Parker's got one on here. We just missed one. Now we got had another bobber down. We got one, so a little pack of walleye swimming through here. There, nice, nice fish there, buddy. About an 18 incher probably. Okay, we got the hook out. Nice fish there, buddy boy. Yeah, 18 inch or so. We'll get a photo of that. We'll let that girl go. Good start, pal. All right, my dad Nate's got one on now. Parker's gonna net it for him. Yep, let him get a little higher. Keep the net on the way. Yep. There he comes. Jumped into the net. <laughs> Good fish. There we go. Put the net out of the way. Nice fish there. Get girl back. There she goes. Nice job, Dad. Okay, my son Parker's got another one on here. Nice fish. That's another good solid there. 20 inch or so. We've uh, missed two and caught four already here in about 20 minutes. Yeah, that's a nice fish there, buddy boy. All right, we'll get him back. Get you baited up. Get another one. Nicely done. Nice net job there, Dan. See, we got a little wind here this morning, a little waves going, but we're battling through it. Son Parker's got one here. There he is, nice one. Okay, and then Dad, set that down as quickly as you humanly can. Grab the camera. My bobber's coming down. Oh. Kind of go back and forth. <laughs> Double. Parker, why don't you set that on the floor and hand me the net, or just you can hold on to it and hand me the net. I got a nice one here.
like that for me, buddy. You can go back to getting your fish off. Get a video of you holding yours up while I get mine unhooked here. It's a nice double. Parker got. We'll get these girls back. You go out that side, buddy. I'll go out this side. There goes mine. There goes Parker's. Well, my son Parker got one here. Not long after we missed a couple. I don't know, he that could even be a smallmouth maybe the way he's running around. Oh so Wally, okay, good. Oh, it's a big smallmouth. Beast, you swing over to the right if you can, right? Yep. That's a big beast of a smallmouth. So just let him fight. Yep, just keep him in that area. Post spawn female here, still up on these shallow rocks. Keep it away from that motor if you can, buddy. Yep. Get it, Dad. Nice fish, buddy. Woohoo! Look at that. That is a beastie there. All right, we took a measurement on that. That's a 20 incher, probably five, five and a half pound smallie. Got a photo for my son of that. Good fish, Bell. Is it going to be ready? Oh, yeah, it'll be ready. Okay, my son's got another one here. The walleye, yeah, nice one. Good job, fellas. Nice teamwork there. Oh, that's nice, solid there. 20 21 incher. We will get a picture of that bad boy and then we'll get some video releasing it. Okay, nice fish, buddy. Get him back in the water. And away he goes. Nicely done. Yeah, he didn't splash you that time. That was nice of him, huh? All right. Walleye smallies, we're catching them all. Slip bobbers with leeches on shallow rocks. All right, my son Parker's got another one. the thing these walleyes we find them all summer when there's wind on these shallow rocks and they battle they fight you every time you think it's gonna be a smallie Another nice fish there all right letting her go and away he goes nicely done buddy good job with the net there dad Just going to talk a little bit about what we're using today. Um, there's lots of different types of slip floats you can use, just the Thill Pro uh, balsa wood. Uh, today, because we're dealing with wind and casting in wind, we're using a, a wind walker, they're called, and they're more of a, if you look at it from the top, more of an X shape to them, just a little more aerodynamic, fly through the wind a little better when you're casting. Um, we're using uh, 
spinning rods, a couple of sevens, and I've got one that telescopes out to eight foot. I want to use a long spinning rod. Um, we're using St. Croix's. Uh, we've got Pfluger uh, spinning reels on them. And we have those spooled with eight pound test Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. And then that is tied to a swivel, just a little barrel swivel. And then from the barrel swivel, we're using, uh, I have pre-tied here, uh, keeping the boat. Um, snells, I guess you could call them, with floral carbon, vanished floral carbon for stealth on the clear water on Mille Lacs here. We're using some vertical approaches. This is called a slow boat jig, a quarter ounce one, that uh, I've got a loop tied at the end of this and I uh, snap it to that snap swivel um, to have that clear uh, floral carbon and that way we can switch uh, in different colors here. You see you got with chartreuse, white, uh, pink, orange. Uh, we're also using some horizontal approaches. These are a uh, Google Eye jig. Uh, these are a jig with a rattle in them and on that floral ca carbon they hang more horizontal like that with the leech on there. Uh, we're also using, uh, I don't have one here to show you, but we're using some quarter ounce uh, ice fishing uh, baits or quarter ounce jigging spoons. Um, little spoons with a treble hook on them and the leech from that and they kind of flop and flash so you want to use different uh, approaches horizontal vertical the big thing is match the weight I like to match the weight we're using quarter ounce today to the bobber um, smaller weight smaller bobber bigger weight bigger bobber so the bobber sits up but that way you don't have to have extra uh, split shot or weight along there to tangle when you're casting especially on windy days all your weight is down there by the bait um, that's the approach we're using today um, it's a great you can you fish this deep you can fish it shallow uh, you can fish out over any kind of bottom you want but when you get the walleyes on these mid-depth rocks it's a great way uh, as you've seen uh, to catch walleyes all right parker's got another one here still slip bobber and leech on rocks in the teens trying to go under the boat there there he is nice little beautiful walleye he jumped right over the net. <laughs> All right, nice uh, about an 18 incher there. Get him back. All catch and release on Mille Lacs this year. So, otherwise, that would have been a good one for the frying pan there. And away he goes. Oh, he didn't splash you too bad either. That was nice of him. Good job. All right, my son Parker here was busy clicking the last fish and looked out and goes, oh, gee, my bobber's gone. And the rod was starting to pull tight. Looks like a nice one there. Ah, boy. Nice teamwork there. Keeping an eye on my bobber and my dad's in case we get another double like earlier. <laughs> Dad's got one here. Parker's gonna net it. Good one, that way. Oh, he jumped right out of the net. Yeah, he's a frisky one. <laughs> All right. Son Parker's got another one here. Size to it. A little bit. There you go. Nicely done. Oh. So Parker just got done releasing that fish in my dad's and turned around and goes, Oh, my bobber's gone. So we're on a nice little pot of them here. Nice fish. Oh boy. Dad's got another one here. Parker's gonna net it. That's in. All right. Oh, that'd be another nice eater there. We'll get him back. 
Good job, Dad. All right, my son Parker's got another one. Dad Nate's on the net. I'll keep an eye on mine so we don't get any double, miss any doubles. <laughs> Good one there, fellas. All right, another good, oh, in that 20 inch range there, 21 maybe. Yeah, fellas. All right, good fish, buddy. We'll get that one back in the water. And away it goes. Nicely done. Good teamwork there, fellas. And I got one here. I was busy working on something and saw my rod sliding. He pulled it tight. or so there. So, I'll put him back over here. And actually, I'll just take a picture of me with him and then we'll let him go. Just kind of putting stuff away from my fish and Parker had one, so we got a little flurry going here again. That away. Nice fish. Nice fish there. Gonna get a photo of that one and let that go. Nice job. Okay, my son Parker got another one here. I was talking to someone on the phone and Bobber went down. Oh, he's got a nice one there, yeah. About a 20, 21 incher there. That a boy. And that was, uh, I was talking to someone on the phone and my dad caught a 14 incher, or a 16 incher, I'm sorry, and now Parker got this 20, 21 incher. So they're still bombing away here. All right, nice, nice one there, buddy. We'll get that one back in the water and they're back. <laughs> they're kind of swimming through here in packs. We catch four, five, six, boom, boom. Then it's like 10 minutes, it's kind of quiet. And then boom, we catch three or four. We've had what, five or six doubles today easily. shot in that one the bobber actually jumped out of the water and then went down I'll bring him to you there again. there we go on that I talked about that this is a white slow poke jig that vertical jig we are picking up a pattern today besides the 12 12 to 15 foot rocks has been the best location the other pattern has been a vertical presentation I showed the different presentations this is a vertical jig the vertical jigging spoons have been getting them and then uh, we tried the horizontal jig that uh, Google eye jig that I showed and that has not been getting as many bites today so and white has been the color today white or glow has definitely been the color so you just figure out that pattern and you duplicate it we've all got something vertical and something white or glow out now we'll get a picture of this fish and I'll let him go all right Parker's got another one here he's gonna get the net looks like we got another 17, 18 inch there, you gotta roll up in the line. Uh, good thing we're using the clicker, we're we'll losing count. I think this is walleye number 32. <laughs> oh, I forgot yeah, so. to click for us. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. We're getting these doubles back to backers here. We forget to click, but yeah, I think we're going to be about 32 or 33 walleyes now. And a small mouth, big small mouth. Nice fish there, buddy. Seth Parker with another one here. Aggressive bite, just dove the bobber. Nice fish. Yeah, he was. Nice work there, fellas. Nice teamwork. And we're in the middle of another spurt here. This is about the Parker's Guy one here. It's about the sixth or seventh one in the last ten minutes. Nice one, buddy. Hi, uh, hope you enjoyed our show today. Uh, we wound up with 49 walleyes and one smallmouth bass, big smallmouth bass, uh, today with uh, slip bobbers with a leech under it. Went through the rig, uh, the areas we're targeting, uh, mid depth rocks because we had some wind and some waves. Uh, hopefully, you learned some tips about places to look for walleyes uh, in the early spring uh, to mid spring and also. Uh, how to use that slip bobber rig to go after them when they're up on those shallow to mid-depth rocks. Thanks for watching this episode. We hope to see you at our next one. Uh, until then, I'm Troy Smutka for Parker Smutka and Nate Smutka. Good luck, and I'll see you out there somewhere. <laughs>